Hi guys, Chris from Harmony Turbines here. It's right before Thanksgiving 2021 and we wanted to do an update to give you some new information and some very, very exciting news that uh, I think you're going to enjoy. So in the spirit of the holidays coming up, we would like to ask a favor. If everyone who sees this could please share our WeFunder link with your friends, with your family, share it with anyone you believe is wanting to make a better tomorrow, a better place in this world for our children and our grandchildren to live. What we really need is help spreading the word and help getting the word out there about what we're doing and what our project is. We put in our proposal to the Manufacturing in Pennsylvania initiative like two months ago. And out of the seven engineering universities in Pennsylvania, we heard back from four of them. So four out of seven wrote back to us and proposed a project with us because they took a look at what our technology was. We had to give them a deep dive into the technology. They were able to take a look at what that technology was and where it was going. And they were excited about what we had to show them, what we have developed so far and where we were going. And here's the thing that I'm so excited about, guys. I have been totally hush-hush about our generator technology for two years because we didn't have the money, we didn't have the funds to really develop that generator properly, and I knew it. I knew we had to just try and use an off-the-shelf generator for the first you know, year or so once we went into production to use that as a way to kind of kickstart things and get things moving before we had the funding to develop our generator. When the universities looked at this and did I say four out of the seven got back to us wanting to do a project with us? Also one other one from the UK. So we have had five universities, five prestigious engineering universities get back to us wanting to do a project with us and proposing a project, looking at and specifically testing and validating and working with our technology at Harmony Turbines. Guys, we have two, you're seeing double here, two amazing technologies in our patent. Probably, I would throw down a $10 bill on this table in front of me right now and say 90 to 95% of you never knew that. You just thought we had the turbine scoops, the part that spins in the air and can furl, and that's really cool and awesome. But guys, that's one half of our technology. As cool as that part is, as cool as our turbine scoops are and the furling technology and all that stuff with a high wind speed, um, you know, able to control our speed and keep on producing at maximum power in the high wind speed, the other end of the spectrum was our generator technology. And we have kept that silent until today where I'm gonna give you a little tiny tidbit. I can't give you too much, but I'm gonna give you a little tidbit. When these universities looked at it, they lost their minds, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying this because the responses we got from some of them were unbelievable. And these are tenured, professors looking at our work and saying, holy cow, how has this not been developed already? How do we not have this in production already? That's how inventions go. You know, you see a way of doing something, you, you figure out a way to do it that no one else thought of, and you work through it until you develop a product. Well, that doesn't happen in a vacuum. It takes money and it takes time. And we are in the development mode right now. We're in the R&D mode. We're not in production. So we need your help to get the word out. We need your help to get people excited and help people understand where we're at because there are some huge things coming down the pike. I'm only gonna take 30 seconds to show you this. I'll put it up on the screen, but this graph right here has been the crux of why the Savonius turbines have gotten a bad name over the last 50 years. An incorrect labeling of a chart has relegated Savonius turbines to the bottom of the dog pile when in fact, and these universities all knew it. That was the crazy part. When we were finally talking to them and doing the deep dive and talking to them, they're like, oh yeah, we've known that for years, but they haven't been able to really get the information out in mass. So they, they tell their students and they put it out in their classes and stuff, but it never gets out into social media. It never gets out into the public where people do a quick 30 second Google search and they see an incorrect chart that's been out there for 50 years and they think, oh, Savonius turbines are crap. It's all BS, guys, all of it. Savonius turbines, they're like 35 to 40% efficient with the straight up 55 gal gallon drum that you cut in half and put out there with just a straight up cut in half 55 gallon drum and it's spinning. They're 35 to 40% efficient just by doing that. Now you add a helix twist to it and ribbed 
components, which is exactly what Harmony has. You have a Savonius turbine with a helix twist and ribbed components. You now have even higher efficiencies above the straight up Savonius turbine. Plus, add on top of that, our furling technology, you do the math. You figure out whether you think this could be a game changer or not. That's what we're all about. We're not looking to compete with the big, huge $6 million turbines that are out there that have hundreds of millions of dollars of funding put into their research and development. That's gonna be later, later, way, way down the road. Keep it in perspective. We are talking residential size and small scale wind turbines. That's the market we're going after first. Okay, it's gonna be the boating sectors, things for boats and RVs and residential ones for the home, small units, small like 400, 500 watt units that we can ship all over the world. Get these kits out there. They're easy to put together, easy to link in. We're gonna be working with the universities to make sure it's as easy as possible to integrate it into your house systems, your home AC system, whether it's European or American, or your DC systems, if you live off grid, or if you have a boat, or if you have an RV and you wanna plug directly into that DC system, that's what this is going to be about. We're working with these universities to get these kits developed, to get the technology developed that we can do it properly and effectively and easily. Do the research yourself, guys. Take more than 30 seconds and look into the stuff that I'm saying. Wind turbine efficiencies, Google that. Pause the video, wind turbine efficiencies. Then go out there and click on images. So when you do wind turbine efficiencies, click on images, you'll see all over the place the bad chart. 83 to 85% of the time, and only a small fraction of the time, the correct chart. Small, tiny little error. They drew the, the arrows in the wrong place, but that has for the last 50 or 60 years even before social media existed, it's in, I have a signed and autographed book from the author with the incorrect chart in it. This bad information that's been out there for years has given Savonius turbines and in fact, vertical axis wind turbines in general, a bad name for so long that this is why it's never been looked at until now, until right now, guys, we, I guess you could say I'm thankful for that mistake because it's allowed us, Harmony Turbines, to come up and be developed in that gap, in that void where there was nothing to fill it. That incorrect information has given us a huge opportunity now where we can get out there and if the universities and all the research and everything that we're gonna be spinning up over the next 12 to 15 months and the one project is actually proposed for four years, um, we have, I might not have said this, we actually signed with three of the universities. So out of the five, universities that got back to us, we signed with three of them to do these projects. Very large projects, 12 months, 15 months, and four years. So the data is gonna be coming out from these research projects. It's gonna be so exciting to finally see it in writing, to see it verified, see it in peer review articles. And then there will be other groups, I'm sure, contacting us to do verification on the data and so forth. So it's gonna, it's gonna go crazy, <laughs> to say the least. It's already been, crazy just over the past six, eight weeks that I've been working. That's why we haven't put an update out in, in a while because it's just been absolutely phenomenal with everything going on with all that needed to be done. So, <sighs> sorry, I'm like blah, 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 blah. Anyway, the generator. I am, all I can say is that if you look at this part, the part that's spinning in the wind and you say, wow, Harmony Turbines has something amazing there. <laughs> the thing that's gonna be down below making the electricity, the generator portion, is just as amazing, if not more so, because that generator can be hooked onto a whole bunch of other processes and marketed with things way outside of the realm of just wind turbines. It is, however, the perfect, what I would say, the perfect generator for wind turbines. So that's why we need to develop it now. It's now time to develop our generator. It's now time to kick it into high gear, kick it in the butt and get moving on our generator development. But we need funding, we need money, and we need your help spreading the word and getting some people excited about this. It's not some little, tiny, stupid, unfeasible 
project. This is real stuff that is exciting and the universities coming in looking at it are like blown away with what we've done so far. They're excited. They're all geared up to do these projects to help get the data and get published because they want to be the first to publish verifiable data proving things that have been wrong for 50 years. Protocam. Protocam has now partnered with us um, signed with us, whatever you want to say, they are now partnered with us to do all of our plastic manufacturing for the R&D part and early production needs. Protocam is huge. Look them up, guys. Protocam isn't uh, some rinky-dink operation here. They're awesome. They're amazing. The tech We've taken two tours through their facility. They're huge. They're amazing. They have tons of capabilities. They're doing all of the plastic work to help get us going because they have come and done a deep dive into what they saw. They loved it. So we're trying to figure out how we can, you know, work our partnership to leverage it in the best way possible to move things forward. They also took a look at our generator technology because we have non-disclosure agreements with them. They took a deep dive into that and were blown away as well. They and another large company, an even larger company over here in the U.S., took a look at our technology and the other company... <laughs> um, we turned down their offer. They were, they were asking way, way too much. They wanted, they wanted to invest in a big way, but they wanted a, way too much. So we had to turn them down. We had to say, no, I'm sorry, your, your offer is gracious, but no, it was just too much. It's like um, we just saw a movie the other day. It was a really cool movie, King Richard, about the two daughters that grew up playing tennis. And when she got that first offer, from the first vendor before she was big, it was a tough moment because she was like looking at it going, here's guaranteed money, <sighs> but no, we're gonna prove what this is really worth, what, in her case, what she was worth, and then knew that there was gonna be much, much, much larger offers down the road. That's pretty much where we're at with Harmony Turbines right now. We're holding on, doing our best to keep things running, keep things moving, keep things marching forward, but right now we are, pre-revenue, okay? So we're in the R&D phase, we're in the pre-seed round or in the, the seed funding round before we're big, before we're famous. You know the phrase, you, you hear people in the stock market talking about, you know, the train has left the station. You don't wanna be investing in something once the train has left the station. You wanna be on the train before it leaves the station. At least that's what all the investors want. And then once it leaves the station, the people that missed it are PO'd that they missed it. Well, do yourself a favor, take 10 minutes, take 20 minutes, look at our technology. Look at why we're so excited, look at why the universities are so excited, look at why these companies that are now contacting us are so excited, because they see the potential of what we have. And remember, it is not just the turbine scoops and the furling technology, we now have our second patent, guys, and the second patent was specific to protecting the generator even further than it was already protected. Um, I can't go into a lot of details about the generator just because there's so many reasons why I can't go into specifics about it. But that generator technology that we have patented now with two patents is phenomenal and it will be game changing. I'm saying it right here, right now. If we can get the money, get the development that we need to do it, it's gonna blow you away. When you finally see what this generator is and what it's doing and what it's capable of, <laughs> you're gonna be saying to yourself, why haven't we been doing it this way for the past 40 years? Well, I don't know, that's the weirdest question in the world because why don't people think of inventions before they're done? Who knows? But everyone after it's done, they're like, man, why didn't I think of that? That's, that's so simple, it's so amazing, whatever. Who cares what the reasons are? I'm telling you, take some time right now do a little bit of research, do a little digging, and if you've got some money, you can get in to our campaign for as little as $100. If you aren't already in it, you might wanna rethink that. It's right before the holidays, people have some money usually from bonuses and things. Give it a thought, and please, if you can't invest in our campaign, then at least, please, 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 send our link around for WeFunder to your friends, to your family. Let other people see it so that they can get on board or they can get excited, they can look at what we have. We're still building the technology, we're still putting it together, but there are no major hurdles in front of us right now that are gonna stop us from getting there, other than how much money we get, how much investments we get.
The more money and investments we get, the quicker we're going to be able to go through the next five steps to get to production mode. We have all of the right pieces in place now, finally, to move forward correctly and to get these kits together that we can get them out to you. I'm not going to sit here and speculate how quickly that's going to be because there's a lot of factors in how quickly that's going to happen. But to tell you right now, it is exciting. <laughs> it's a huge understatement. We are, we've been absolutely inundated with responses with um, universities reaching out to us, doing the grant proposals, doing all the write-ups and signing the NDAs and getting everything in motion for what is about to come, guys. If I, if I'm, any of my videos that I've ever put out, if I said, you know, hold your breath here or hold on or make sure your seatbelt's fastened because we're about to, to get moving in a very, very cool direction here, that's now. We are moving forward with some things that are going to be huge. And as the information comes out, those campaigns are gonna be closed off. There won't be an option to get in at that time when it's too late. We have it opened right now. Our crowdfunding is open for our second campaign. We're working hard to try and raise funds to get as much money as we can toward the development of this generator and the next steps that we need to do. We even took the step last month to lower our, our uh, cap. It was, it was a $10 million equity cap and we dropped it down to a $5 million cap. So we dropped it in half. That means everyone who has already invested in round one, they were locked in at those at that low $2.5 million cap. The new round that started up, um, it was a $10 million cap at first. We backed it off to a $5 million cap. So boom, all the people that are in our campaign already for round two, you just got double your investment, double, uh, oh, I'll say like double the bang for the buck. How about that? So instead of a $10 million cap, it is a $5 million cap. And that is going for our first, I think it's $100,000, and then it'll move up to a $6 million cap. So if you get in now, there is still time to get in while it's a while it's a $5 million cap. We're doing that to try and help people feel more comfortable about coming on board. If you only have 100 bucks, fine. If you've got 10,000 you wanna throw at it, fine. Every little bit helps, every little bit. Even if it's just sending our email out to other people so that they can take a look, that helps in a huge way. And that's what we need. We're here because of you. We, all of Harmony Turbine's efforts would just be uh, some crazy dude putting videos out on YouTube, me, and that would be it. I'd just be talking to the air. You, our community, have made this happen. You, our community, have brought it to life and helped to fund it and get us to where we're at, get the equipment we needed to get where we are. Now we've got engagement with the universities. Now the big businesses are starting to take us seriously. The universities are looking at us going, holy crap, this is amazing what you guys have. And it is about to get crazy guys. So right before the holidays, I just wanted to, st to say hello, say thank you for believing in us and give you this message, give you this encouragement because things are about to get crazy here. Happy holidays, guys from Harmony Turbines. Take care.